We're now joined on the sports mix by head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth. And Coach Faircloth, you guys were able to come away with your first win on Friday against Kaiser. What'd you like from your team in that one? I uh, played with a lot better effort, energy, and came out, uh, you know, came out focused and ready to go. That was the big thing from game one to game two. Coach Faircloth, a comfortable win for your team, 25 7 over Kaiser, a team in double A, but still a very good team or a quality program in double A. But from start to finish, it seemed like your team had control of that one. Just kind of talk about what really went right and what are some things that you want to continue to build off of successfully for this week. I mean, I think for us, I mean, we, we left three touchdowns uh, on the field. We had a couple calls back. Um, got to clean that up. Um, the biggest thing is we imposed our will up front, uh, got the run game going, was able to get the ball out quick to our athletes. And at the end of the day, I think for us, you know, we were the more athletic team. Uh, we were bigger up front, stronger up front, so we took advantage of those things. And when we take advantage of what we have, you know, we're not a bad team. And, you know, with the availability of social media these days, all these players after the game, when they have very good performances, they'll put them out there. We saw on Twitter that Aiden Fleming able to have three sacks in the game, three tackles for loss. What have you seen from him off the edge this year? Uh, I mean, well, we moved him inside against Kaiser. We put him in, uh, in an inside linebacker because we want to give him multiple looks. And, you know, for him, he – if there's a gap that opens up, uh, he's one of the fastest players I've ever seen get in a gap and be able to pursue the ball. Uh, so for him, I mean, he, he's the player that everybody thinks he is and, and what he shows. And, you know, he comes, to, he comes to practice every day with a work ethic. And, you know, he's learned a lot here in this last probably six weeks of actually being able to play that that linebacker position. So the, we've had him outside linebacker and inside linebacker, and he's had success at both. Who were some other guys that really uh, jumped out to you on Friday? I mean, Dalton. Dalton, you know, had a better performance against Kaiser. I mean, he got the run game going, uh, threw some really, really good balls, uh, hit DeMonte on a, on a fade route where only DeMonte could get it, uh, threw a really good ball to Gavin. Gavin came out and had a, had a game, you know, first first big game at the AAA level. I think he finished with, I think it was like right around 90 yards receiving. Um Jake Young and Ja'Kai Bryant and Chaz Collier carrying the ball for us. I think we rushed for over 210. So, I mean, it was all around good effort from skilled guys. And then, you know, our D-line with Josh Barrett, Darrell Johnson, um, you know, they they own the line of scrimmage up front. And, you know, Levi and Connor Quinn, they pretty much, you know, we were able to do whatever we wanted to running the ball behind those two. And moving forward to this week, you guys go on the road for another road test, this time just traveling to Hampshire to take on the Trojans. What have you seen from Hampshire on film so far? A uh, really improved team from last year. Um, you know, they're getting the ball out quick. They got a really, really good screen game. Uh, and, and their kids play with a ton of effort. And, you know, Kaiser came here with the same mentality, played with a ton of effort. And there for about the first, you know, three, four minutes of the game, it took us a minute to try to figure out how we were going to wear them down. So, you know, I think Hampshire is, you know, much improved and, and, and they're moving the ball, they're scoring points. So the biggest thing for us is just staying disciplined. What's the game plan going in? We got to establish the run on offense, uh, get the ball to our athletes and defense. We got to pursue the football and, and, and keep being, being the physical team that we think we are. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck. We'll talk next week. All right, I appreciate it, fellas.